with 15 spots taken and only one left open. The question only stands, who will be the car? The racer. The team fast enough to claim that final spot. Hey, everybody. I'm Brendan. Eight more teams. The last eight all returning with their second car. Let's see if they have what it takes to partake in this finals. First set of four, Denny's, Creepy Squad, Brothers, and the winners. Denny's has Koopa in the standard cart there, Creepy Squad. Uh, of course, the sneaker with the Luigi, but I feel like this Luigi's either painted or is wearing his fire flower suit for whatever reason. Um, so he's in there as well. We'll see if the sneaker can fare well. We almost had a sneaker impress us in that last video with Koopa Troopa in the sneaker. Very close. Brothers. We have Mario in the standard cart, and the winners, we have Mach 8, Waluigi, who's doing absolutely wonderful right now, blasting into that final section pretty straight, bumped a little bit around, ooh, camera went out of view for a second, but we got him back, and he's going to cross pretty well with a 19-8, and that's flat, look at that, four zeros, I mean three zeros, sorry, after the 8, 19.8 flat, it's rare that you can put up all those zeros in the late decimal places since they move so fast, so eh, maybe it's a good omen for Waluigi today. And they all, the rest of them, come on around in a bundle. And Creepy Squad, the sneaker, starting off decently strong as well. Waluigi, I mean, we'll take a look at him. He looks like he's got the speed, and I wonder if any other car can perform as well and catch up to him speed wise we'll have to see how the other three perform it looks like koopa trooper in the standard card is giving him a run for his money and this one has line two to work with which is mostly inner lines except for that last turn how will waluigi take here in the very inner line still pretty fast through it his control through that was pretty good no wheels seem to have left the ground outside turn though very slow let's see if he bounces into that transition well he ooh, spins 360 and more. Here comes the hairpin, rounds it outside, falls inside. You saw him fall vertically, and he's slow. Here comes Koopa Troopa, but he turns around. And that was not a good time. Two full seconds worse to 21 8. And a little more. Mario in the standard cart. And Mario's. Mario's not doing so well today. Starting out pretty slow with two losses, two fourth place finishes. And, uh, oh no, he got, he got third in the first one. I was wrong about that, sorry. I didn't think Koopa dropped back that far in the first race. But we'll see. Heat three, a round three here, the, the first group, and Waluigi again out to an easy start. Koopa Troopa making his way in that third lane, keeping pace, just can't seem to speed up and accelerate down these straights. I think the turns kill him. Standard cart struggles through those turns, especially the outer ones because it's such a short car. Waluigi breaking away, and he's got a lot of speed in that car today. A good combo, Waluigi, in a Mach 8. You can't go wrong with it. And it's absolutely proving itself today. We might even go sub-20 once again here uh, with the winners. Ooh, bounces in really well. Almost gain speed in the transition. Hairpin, ooh, took it a little tough on the final turn of it. But he's fast to the end with, ooh, that's a 19-9. 19-9. And a 19-9. That's two sub-20s for Waluigi. I think we're far from an 18 from him, but I mean, that was solid. Koopa Troopa comes in third, and it's pretty short order here. Luigi and then Mario. And things are looking relatively clear into that final heat. I don't know what's going on with Mario today. Usually Mario in the standard card is at least a, a solid pick, but he hasn't performed. Heat four. Who's got a chance? Creepy Squad there with seven. And same with Denny's. 
so it's going to be a battle between them. Even Brothers technically has a chance here, but it'd have to get very lucky and somehow end up at first. Again, he's starting in last. Mach 8, Waluigi holding his ground through the third turn there, uh, second turn, sorry, and he still has got a few lengths on him. Koopa Troopa, maybe the outside line is good for him. He's going to have an inside here, maybe he can grab some lead, but acceleration from Waluigi, trying to stay fast on it. Down towards the fat track section, how is he going to enter it? Pretty fast, straight through, no spin, hairpin, takes it well, maybe a sub 20 once again, camera can't keep up, and that is 19-2. Nineteen two, and we have a partial sweep going from Waluigi. He has been, I think that he's been the fastest car other than the riderless pipe frame. I think nineteen two is pretty good. I think before the pipe frame, our best time was, I believe, it was nineteen four. 1947, if I remember correctly, you might have to check me on that, but I think I, I think I was spot on. And then it dropped with a pipe frame right down to 187663. I'll never forget it. And then here's a 192. So the winners really may be living up to their name. Second group. Can anyone be even close to that good? And maybe look at Waluigi in the finals. Let's see, we have an interesting set here. We got Luis Castro, and what is that car? Koopa Troopa in, I, it's it's definitely not a model I've ever seen here on the channel for, so I actually don't know the name. I'm just gonna be, be honest with you guys, honesty is best. I don't know. It's a Bowser Jr. decal on there, but I could not tell you what that is. I don't know the name. I don't even know if that's in Mario Kart 8. I don't know, it's honestly never seen it. Sneaker, though, Baby Luigi holding out pretty well. We'll get back to naming the cars in a moment. Who spins for a second. Oh, here comes Beach on the outside. Breaks away outside. Good pass and has room to run and almost loses it, but gets first place. 21-9, not very fast. Koopa Troopa will come in third when starting in front, and Donkey Kong there is going to start slow. Good move by Peach, heads up play there on the wide track, saw the gap, saw the mistakes, and took advantage of the right time. After the spin, you see, when after he spun and then clung to that left side, that's when Peach saw the gap. Let's take a look here once again. Luis Castro in an unknowable car, just Bowser Jr. focused. Um, Bowser Jr. themed. Baby Luigi there uh, for Cat Diecast in the sneaker, who had a great race until that mistake in the back section. Angelo rocking Peach in the standard card. I think painted up a little bit too, so it looks very nice out there. And uh, good intelligent heads up racing from her. And we have Just In Case rounding it out with uh, Donkey Kong. And I think that's. I, I know. I, I remember the card. I don't remember the name. I, I recognize it. I don't remember the name. The Bumblebee? Maybe it's just straight up the Bumblebee. Not sure, but it's a Bumblebee themed cart. Koopa Troopa around the hairpin, turns around, no speed. Here comes, ooh, got the sneaker, maybe. No, no, no time. I thought there might have been a comeback opportunity. That's 22 seconds, so another bad performance time-wise. I thought the sneaker had a chance there, but just I, Koopa Troopa managed that speed well after the turn. Castro's staying in there. Angelo's staying in there. Maybe an upset is possible in the finals. Otherwise, Waluigi is just going to be going for record. And for an individual sweep, which I am not sure if we've had one. I'm pretty sure the rider... Yeah, I remember the riderless pipe frame did not have an individual sweep. Someone check me on that. I, this, is why, this is why I need you guys. I don't remember. I don't think we've had an individual sweep this whole tournament. This is day 16. Not one individual sweep. It may happen today. It really, really may happen today if there's no mistakes down that back straight for Waluigi. Here comes Koopa Troopa once again looking a little bit better. Maybe even fast this time as he breaks into the back section nice and fast. Ooh, turns for a second. Straightens out on the hairpin inside. On the hairpin though shows a lack of speed. I'm thinking about 20.5 here. No, 21-2, so even slower than I expected. Here comes the sneaker, Peach, backwards, nudges him across. A weird set of motion there at the end. You see Peach, I don't think she knew where she was going, but had a gap there. And just didn't get lucky enough to grab a second. 
Two fives for Luis Castro, so he might see glory for a moment in the finals in this video. So again, it's, I'm hard pressed to see how any of these vehicles would have a, a fighting chance against Waluigi. I mean, 19.2 is our like third best time in the tournament. I wish we had a wiki, a races and fun wiki, where we had we kept stats like this, uh, tournament to tournament, so I could really refer back to it. Um, because most of it's memory for me, I'll be honest. One day, though, one day as we grow, someone will start that wiki and maintain it. Here comes Koopa Troopa, looking even faster than ever. Down to the fat track section, breaks in pretty straight, loses speed as he bumps outside of the hairpin, goes out, then back in, straight down to the finish, turns! He's backwards and slow, here comes the sneaker! Too late! Honestly, with that speed, though, it would have been in the 20s. And so maybe there's a tiny, tiny, tiny glimmer of hope for Koopa Troopa going to the finals. He'll secure that with three wins, and I believe the sneaker will follow him. And Donkey Kong definitely won't. Donkey Kong needs to switch to a cart more suited to him and get out of the Bumblebee. 17, 12. The two I said are advancing. Finals, here we go. This is an exciting moment. I can't say for sure if it's the first individual sweep, but I believe it is. I think I would have remembered one. And the pipe, I know the pipe frame without the rider did not even perform an individual sweep because I remember he lost the first race. And I was like, oh, maybe it's not a, a great thing to have no rider. And, and then, he, then he destroyed. So I don't know. This could be the first time. Waluigi to put five on the board again. Big lead over the other three. Koopa's nowhere to be seen, though he is in second place, so there's the glimmer of hope, like I said, rounding that turn, Waluigi, he just has to be no mistakes here. Koopa, lurking in the background, ready for a mistake. Waluigi taking straight to the line, outside line, doesn't look like he's the fastest he's been. Maybe a sub-20 opportunity, Koopa's there, and it's 20.1. And Koopa finished at about 21 seconds, I'd say there. So there's a possibility. Hmm. You know, Koopa in the standard cart kind of botched that one a little bit down the back straight. And he'll have no luck getting over the line. Skids and stops. 20.1. Zero there for Denny's. The winner's with five. Waluigi. Race six, three more to individually sweep. Again, I believe the first time in this tournament. Waluigi nose out of the gate and almost, yeah, he's starting to lose the lead. Maybe he'll accelerate after this first turn. Yeah, he does. Oh, man, you saw him speed up there. No question about it. Took over the race right through that second turn. I mean, first turn, sorry, third turn coming here. Still a big gap for Waluigi. Koopa is, you can tell he's staying in there. He's staying in the game. He's lurking. He's ready for mistakes. He's ready to put it away. If there's a mistake, he's just not seeing any. He's in the background and ready to strike. Waluigi, nice and straight down into the final section again. Around the hairpin, looking pretty fast. Does skid for a second there. Lose a little bit of speed. Bounding back and forth, zigzagging and crosses the line with a 19.5. And you can tell Koopa was close behind. Probably about a 20.2 he's got to act now but there is still that small glimmer of hope two races to go 19.58 that's a great time Waluigi will struggle in the finals against the pipe frame but have a chance who knows if the pipe frame is going to be that great anyway you never know very inconsistent when you don't have a rider in there Koopa's got to win this one if he wants to stay in it. If Waluigi wins this one, even though he doesn't yet have the sweep, he does have the victory in this. Waluigi, again, through that second straight, accelerating big lead. Sneaker also pushing his way in there, lined up with Koopa. Koopa has best chance right now with inside lines. Cannot accelerate on the straights, though. It's killing him. Waluigi outside line. Oh, and he's dropped back to fourth. This might be it. As far as wins go, Waluigi, as long as he doesn't make a mistake, is okay to take it. Right here, he starts to spin. Oh, he writes himself. Hairpin slow. Not going to be a record time. Maybe not a win. Here comes Cooper in the standard. Knocked across as Waluigi. 
Oh, that was close. And I think that's why we haven't had an individual sweep because of those types of mistakes in the back straight. And there's a, a dejected Koopa in the Bowser themed card. A dejected Luis Castro who uh, had an opportunity, but I mean, he was going up against a really tough racer, I gotta be honest. But he wanted to do everything he can to take away this individual sweep. That's always the game, it's always how it's played. Individual sweeps are to be prevented at all costs. Waluigi, this is it. If he wins this first individual sweep of the tournament, even over the pipe frame with the best time. Let's see if it's possible. Looks like Koopa is staying in there so far, and Waluigi having to deal with inside lines is a long cart. Not easy, but he's accelerating here in the third straight. Runs into the fourth one, looking good, but not as fast as usual. This could be a tough one. Rounding the outside line, Koopa in the standard cart might take a lead here. He almost did for a second. Waluigi writes himself, can he stay? No mistakes here. Bounces through, zigs and zags. He turned around. Koopa on the outside line passes him, and I think the interval sweep might go. Waluigi blocks. They're all stopped on the course! And <laughs> I can't even handle that. They all stopped right on the course. None of them almost crossed. And then Luigi in the sneaker wisely bumped the standard card across. And Waluigi, the closest the card has come, yet no sweep in this one. He will go to the finals. And congratulations to him for such an amazing performance today, but botched it in the end. It was just too unpredictable and it all got out of sorts after he started spinning. What a move by the one Koopa. Creepy squad. Oh, that was the first page. The winner, sorry, going to the finals with the rest of these uh, 15. And we'll start that next time here on Races and Fun. We got that Slanman Customs... Uh starting gate and a uh, timer at the end which has been just wonderful a new model from them and so you get a look at it here and how it all works and it is beautiful and it is new and it is more accurate four decimal places at the end of our timer and so really just a, a product worth buying if you are a hot wheels fanatic and if you want precision timing and just something that looks nice and adds to the whole feature of the track setup. You can go to their Facebook, Instagram, and their Etsy. That's where you're going to buy and speak to them and connect with them. I recommend it. Links are in the description if you are looking for them. And uh, well, it's your very own Races and Fun sponsored products today. SlamManCustomsAgain.com, www. They have their own website. And again, their Facebook. I'm excited to see who we got racing today and what kind of vehicles we have to see. We know every model that's chosen with every uh, other possible character has different uh, strengths and weaknesses. So we're going to get a chance to look at that here in a moment and get racing. Uh, I can't emphasize enough how awesome Slamman Customs is and that's what we're doing right here. A lot of products up there. You see uh, the track clamp, banked curves. I mean, they really got some good stuff there for racing.